Now let's talk tornadoes. The key ingredients are this warm, moist air being pulled up from the Gulf of Mexico, warm, dry air being pulled in from the Mexican plateau, and cold, dry air being pulled down from these polar regions. Now as these air masses mix, we get circulation in the form of a twister. Coming up, when you could experience your first spring allergies of the season, and I'll be telling you when this next front is going to be bringing you some rain. If we want a really nice snowstorm in Southwest Virginia, we want that low pressure system to track up the coast and plant itself outside of the Carolinas. And these warmer temperatures just keep hiking up from Sunday until Thursday with a high of 63 degrees. I hope you're excited because I sure am. Now the brunt of this rain is going to be impacting Kentucky and West Virginia, but zooming into our local region, we can expect anywhere from a quarter of an inch to a half inch of rain in south side of the highlands and parts of the new river valley moving through tonight temperatures are going to cool off just a little bit more 30 in lynchburg and alta vista 32 in lexington and 33 in covington now to those of you snow lovers who are wondering what the heck is going on with all of this rain you would be right to assume that we should be getting more snow because historically roanoke gets about 18.5 inches of snow a year what is the difference between a tornado watch warning and emergency a tornado watch means that we have favorable weather conditions for a tornado but a tornado warning means that we either have confirmed touchdown or are expecting touchdown soon and this is determined through the spin on our radars or if we have skywarn spotters reporting from the fields. Now a tornado emergency is very rare and is the most dangerous situation and it means that we have a confirmed violent tornado on the ground. We are going to be seeing some rain moving through tomorrow, specifically tomorrow evening. It's going to be enveloping most of the highlands, the Roanoke Valley and parts of Southside and Lynchburg. But come very early Friday morning, the majority of this rain is condensed down into the New River Valley in Blacksburg, Hillsville and Withville. And by 8 a.m., there are some isolated showers along the I-81 corridor that are going to affect some early morning commutes. Just be wary of the rain. Zooming out to a global view, we see the West Coast and specifically the deserts don't get a whole lot of tornadoes, and that is because of their lack of moisture. You need moisture to get those tornadoes. My mom does always say that a rainy day today means something to look forward to tomorrow, or in this case, in a few weeks, as the ruby-throated hummingbird will begin its migration into southwest Virginia. Now, as we continue to peek through this weekend, we see that it could be just a little bit wet at times, but temperatures are warming, and they are definitely going to stay drier for Sunday. Hello everyone, I'm Liz Bellinger and starting out by taking a peek at our national Doppler radar, we see some rain down in the Gulf states and that rain is going to stay there. But the snow we see in the Midwest around Chicago is not going to stay in the Midwest and is instead going to start working its way down to our region. Come Friday evening, we see the precips start to take hold in West Virginia and Tennessee. But early Saturday morning, it's moved into the highlands and the new river valley. Now this pink line is our rain snow line. So typically everything to the north is snow and everything to the south is rain. And as we continue moving through the very early mornings on Saturday, we see mostly rain across the Roanoke Valley and a couple little bits of snow in Covington and in Blacksburg. But as we continue to move forward through Saturday, it mostly turns into flurries along the West Virginia border. And for those of you snow lovers, I'm really sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but not a whole lot of it's going to stick. In the Roanoke and New River Valleys, we're mostly looking at some dust flurries. Absolutely nothing is happening in Southside and maybe one or two inches up in the highlands. And the reasoning for that is that the temperatures just aren't cold enough. Looking at tonight's lows, we see 34 in Roanoke, and that is above our 32 degree freezing point. And the temperatures just get warmer as we move into tomorrow. We're looking at highs in the lower to upper 40s, 48 town in South Boston. I sure am jealous of you Southsiders right about now. Now, for those of you who like warmer temperatures, like myself, I do have some good news for you. And that is temperatures are going to be almost seven to eight degrees higher than average in Roanoke. And to go along with this good news, 
I bring you more sunlight. <laughs> a whole extra minute tomorrow before sunset. And within a month, that extra minute will become almost an hour and a half. Now, if we finish off with our seven day forecast, we see temperatures ranging from the lower 40s to the lower 60s, 41 as a high on Saturday, 51 as a high on Sunday, and temperatures just keep ramping up to 57 on Monday for President's Day.